In this tutorial we will create this modern and cool web banner design for social media in Adobe Illustrator. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. So let's jump right into Illustrator. First go to File and create a new artboard with these dimensions. This is the default size of a Facebook cover. But you can choose any other dimensions that you like. Select the Rectangle tool, and create a rectangle equal to the size of the artboard. Change its color to a dark shade like this. Note down the RGB code for this dark color. Select the Ellipse tool, and create a circle while holding down the Shift key. Open the Gradient panel, and apply a radial gradient to this circle. Change both sides of this gradient to a blue color like this. Click on this right slider of the gradient, and decrease its opacity to zero. You can adjust this gradient as you like. Slightly scale up the circle to increase the blue shade. And place it on the left side. Note down the RGB code for this blue color. Select both these shapes. Open the object menu. And lock the selection. Now we can work freely without disturbing the background. Now add the main subject image here. Download this image from the video description. And drag it in Illustrator. Scale it down according to the artboard. And place it in front of the background shape. Now we can add headline text here. First select the rectangle tool. And create a rectangle here like this. Apply a radial gradient to this rectangle as well. Change the white side of this gradient to a yellow color. And the black side to an orange color. Note down the RGB codes for these colors. And apply them in the gradient. Now select the type tool, and write some text for this rectangle. Apply the same dark color to this text. And place it in the center of this rectangle. Select this full text, and adjust its position here like this. Hold down the ALT key. Click and drag to create a copy. And place it here like this. Replace this heading with some other text. And change its color to white. Select this above heading and the rectangle. Open the effect menu and apply a shadow to them. Note down these values of the shadow and hit OK. Now this heading is looking more appropriate. Create a copy of this above text. And place it here below the headline. Decrease the height of this rectangle. and use some decent font for this text. Replace this text with some discount offer. Increase its font weight, and decrease the font size.
place it here in front of this rectangle. Note down the font that I've used here. And this is the font for the headline. Create a copy of this text. And replace it accordingly. Adjust its position in front of the rectangle. Create some space between these texts. Now add some paragraph text here at the bottom side. Select the type tool, and click and drag to create a text box here. Write some text inside this text box. Change its color to white. Decrease the font weight. And adjust the font size according to the text box. Adjust the height of this text box. Slightly decrease its opacity to 80%. Now we will transform this full text. Select this full text and the rectangles. Grab the transform tool. Click and hold this anchor point. Now hold down the control key. And drag this anchor point towards right. Now click and hold this anchor point. Hold down the control key. And drag this anchor point upward. This will nicely transform the headlines. Now right click on this subject image. And bring it to front. Slightly adjust the position of this subject image. And make sure that the text is visible. Add your logo here at the top left corner. Drag your logo in Illustrator. Scale it down properly. And place it here like this. Create a copy of this small rectangle. And place it here at the bottom right corner. Now create a copy of this dark text. Bring it to front. And replace it accordingly. Decrease its font size according to the rectangle. And place it in front of this rectangle. Slightly adjust the position of this rectangle. Now create a copy of this text. And place it here. Replace this text with some helpful link. Change its color to the same orange color. And place it somewhere like this. Select this full text and the subject image. And slightly move it on the left side. Now we can add some extra shapes for this banner. Select the rectangle tool, and create a small rectangle here. Apply a linear gradient to this rectangle. Now we will add some more sliders here for the gradient. Click here to add a slider in the gradient. And same on the opposite side. Now click on this rightmost slider. And decrease its opacity to zero. Repeat the same for this leftmost slider.
and slightly adjust this rectangle. Place this rectangle above the headline. Slightly rotate it like this. Now create several copies of this rectangle. And place them on these empty spaces of the banner. Keep creating copies and adjust them as you like. Now the banner design is complete. Select the rectangle tool, and create a rectangle equal to the size of the artboard. Press Ctrl A to select everything. Open the object menu. And make a clipping mask. And this is the final output of this banner design. Hope you liked this tutorial. Don't forget to like this video. And also subscribe to Mac Visuals. Stay tuned and I'll see you in the next one.